So Charles, we were talking about how the law was given to Moses mm -hmm. and how it made men conscious of their sins, mm -hmm. but it didn't make them want to to uh, it made them want to do good, but they couldn't do good. And so that's why God said, "You need a savior." Because his precious blood and through him I will make you righteous. Right. See, when God looks upon us, he sees Jesus. Right. G and God loves, he said, he called Jesus my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Before Jesus even went to the cross, right. he was his beloved son. So that beloved son lives in you and I and Jesus cannot hate his beloved son. No way. See, sister, the law was holy, mm -hmm. but it could not make man holy. Exactly. The law was righteous and just. Right. But it could not make man righteous and just. Right. The law uh, was unbendable. It, it exposed sin, but it couldn't do anything to remove sin. That's why we needed Jesus. That's what God wanted his children to see. When you come to yourself and you realize you are sinful man and that you need a savior, that's what he wanted them to turn to. But instead, they were trying to do the works to work to righteousness and they could never be righteous. Right. And that was what God gave Moses the law to make them understand. They couldn't work for their own righteousness. Right. They, had to, they had to walk in grace. I would have said the law was holy, but man couldn't live by it. No. And man couldn't have any fellowship with God. No. And so that's why they had to have mm -hmm. a substitute mm -hmm. like to reach God. Right. They had to have a substitute, the blood of a, of a lamb, right. a blood of a goat, a blood of a bull, right. to make them even able to be accepted of God. Well, if they had to have a blood substitute, to make them acceptable to God and have fellowship with God. We had the best blood substitute of them all. Best sacrifice. When John said, Behold the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Exactly. Which taketh away the sins of the world. Christ became our blood substitute mm -hmm. that makes us righteous in the sight of the Lord. It was the and it wasn't the law, it's not the laws of Moses. No that makes us righteous or gives us fellowship with God is nothing in the Ten Commandments that makes us righteous or holy that will make us acceptable to God. It's our faith. Right. Yes. Our faith in the blood of Jesus Christ. Jen, the law was so unbendable right. and it was so rigid that it, it said if you did not keep the law, you would die. Exactly. God had to have a sacrifice so that they would have atonement, mm -hmm. or instead of just the 3,000 at the mountain dying when right. the law was given, they would have all died. That right. was the purpose of the sacrifice, so that God, that would be atonement for them. Right. That's why Jesus had to die, or we would all be in the same place that the children of Israel were after Mount Sinai. We had to have a sacrifice. We had to have the Lamb of God or we would have all died. Exactly. And we would have all, when I mean died, I mean spiritually died. We would have gone to hell. All the diseases, all the curses, everything that the law said would overcome you and kill you. Exactly. Paul said, I died. The law killed me. And he meant spiritually. He meant, that's what he was talking about. Right. He, there was enmity. There was no God in that. It was enmity against God. And that killed him spiritually. That's the reason we had to have Jesus. Jesus had to be our lamb. He had to be our sacrifice. Because of what they wanted on Mount Sinai. By wanting the law. Amen. I love that. And that, so that for, let's read that scripture. that what, you're, what we were talking about. The sacrifice. Mm -hmm. In Colossians 2 and 14. Mm -hmm. Colossians 2 and 14. Mm -hmm. Where he said... Blotting, yes. that means blotting, like taking, taking the, when we make a mistake on our typing or on our, our right handwriting, we can get that white out <laughs> and just blot it out and rewrite over it, okay? Right. That, so take blotting, that's what that means. Blotting out, erasing, right. 
ever, never existed, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Now let's stop right there. Right. Right. What ordinances, or ordinances or laws, was written by a hand, by a hand. I can only think of one. I can think of ten. The finger of God ten commandments. wrote on stone the law. Mm -hmm. Right here plainly says, so you hear people say, well, we're going to obey the ten commandments now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, well, I, I have to believe what the Bible says when it says right here, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us which was contrary mm -hmm. or hostile to us and took it out of the way nailing it to the cross, to the cross. Yes. so in other words that handwriting those ordinances were blotted out completely by that substitute the lamb of god right. okay we, so sister we don't need the ten commandments we have christ jesus He's full of love. He's full of grace. I'm not going to go do something against the Ten Commandments of God, but I am full of the grace of God. It's the abundance of His grace and the gift of righteousness. Every day we have to remember that's what God has given us. The abundance of His grace and the gift of righteousness. And we'll be right back.